Welcome back to my kitchen where I'm making keto things because I just, you know, I like things that aren't keto and I want to find keto versions of them. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to be making keto French macaroons. Well, I, I'm attempting to make keto French macaroons. The, uh, the recipe that I found on Pinterest, which I will link below, had a very saucy little fucking note in there <laughs> that said, if you're a beginner baker, you probably should try something else before you go on to this because you have to follow everything to the letter. And, you know, to that I say, I don't care. I'm going to try it anyways. And if I fail, I fail. But I want to try because I had a French macaroon for the first time the other day and it was delicious. And so I want to make my own. So for this recipe, you're going to need some things, okay? You're going to need a cup of almond flour. You're going to need a half a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. You actually need one, a whole teaspoon of it, but you divide it into two because it goes into two different areas, whatever. Uh, you need one and three quarters cups of powdered erythritol and then another quarter cup of powdered erythritol. Erythritol. A tablespoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of vanilla e extract, three egg whites at room temperature, and it says two drops of purple gel food coloring, optional, um, but I want pink because I like pink. Oh, so that's just for the cookie part. And then for the velvet buttercream, please tell me that this has a whole ass cup left in it. It does. I think that's like a half a cup. Shit. It's about half a cup left, which is great. So maybe I'll just half this recipe. So for the buttercream, I'm gonna do a half a cup of powdered erythritol, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of butter, and uh half of a quarter of a cup, an eighth of a cup of heavy whipping cream. So anyways, I'm gonna put this aside because this is for the buttercream. Uh, you also need a food processor for this. And it says to make the macaroons in the food processor, combine the powdered erythritol, almond flour, baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt and process on low speed until extra fine. And then you sift all of it through this into a bowl. So it's very involved, so we're going to do that now. Does it not even work? Do I have a, a food processor that doesn't work or is it because this is unlocked? No! You told me it worked, you fucking liar! Well, I have a super small food processor, so I'm just going to transfer everything over. All right, mix all this together, and then I'll put it in this little food processor one little thing at a time. Okay, we'll do this much at a time, and hey, this means that I can sift, you know, in segments. <laughs>
I've made my own almond flour before and like you have to sift it like this and it took so fucking long. I was like, I'm never fucking doing this again. This seems to be going faster. Ooh, I'm gonna get an arm workout. My biceps on fire, on fire. Oh, this is going a lot faster than the almond flour, okay. Yo, this stuff is so light and airy in this bowl. has been freshly sifted in a mixer use using whisk attachment which I don't have so I'm just gonna use a whisk beat the egg whites and the remaining half a teaspoon of salt until soft peaks form so I'm just gonna empty out this bowl put the salt in here get my whisk Whisk that shit. What? By soft peaks, do they mean bubbles? Because I have bubbles. Okay, so these are the egg whites, and it looks like foam, and so I'm gonna say those are soft peaks, right? Like, I did that shit. That's a soft peak. It looks like bubbles. Okay, all right, I'm gonna call it. Okay, and then it says to gradually add the other quarter cup of powdered erythritol until fully incorporated. Continue to beat until stiff peaks form. You should be able to turn the bowl upside down. Okay. I wonder if I can just use my mixer with the regular beaters and do this. I'm gonna try. Oh, I fucking did that shit. Oh my God. Okay, this is so exciting. Okay, okay, all right. Now, if it wants me to do the vanilla, Half a teaspoon. Oh my god. And the food coloring. Oh no, I got it on me. Okay. Just a couple drops. See how that works out. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh my god, look at how beautiful that is. <gasps> Holy shit, okay, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm way too fucking excited about this. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, now I got all that done, I think. Oh, I have to fold this in, don't I? Yeah, hold on. Add about a third of the sifted almond flour mixture at a time to the beaten egg whites and use a spatula to gently fold until combined. After the last addition of almond flour, continue to fold slowly until batter is thickened but gooey that's what she said all right okay fold 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 oh my god I'm so excited okay
Oh my god. It's thick, but gooey. This is so fucking cool. I am so hyped. We got our thick and gooey here, and they want us to put it in a bag, which I actually have an empty pickle jar, so I can actually set this shit in here. is in the piping bag. It's in the piping bag. This is not a drill. So I'm gonna pipe them onto here and then we have to let them sit out for an hour to dry and then we bake them for like 15 minutes. Here we go, gonna pipe out some macaroons. Oh, that's way too close together. Okay, that one's just a little fucked up. Okay, uh, now I gotta leave these to fucking dry for an hour and then I will come back and bake them. So in the meantime, I'm gonna edit this footage. Dope. Oh, well, I should probably make the buttercream. Let's make the buttercream, actually. To make the buttercream, you need to beat the butter until light and fluffy and I just need half of this. So let me get a knife and we'll cut it. That doesn't look like half, but I guess I'm gonna have to trust it. Oh wait, but I need to do even less because of... Okay, butter. There we go. Gotta remember that I'm having the recipe. It wants me to beat the butter into light and fluffy. So, I'm gonna do that. Buttercream, buttercream. Is that considered light and fluffy? I feel like that's considered light and fluffy. Sift in the powdered sugar. incorporated. Add the vanilla and beat to combine. And then add one tablespoon at a time of the whipping cream and beat to combine. Add the whipping cream. Oh my God, did I do it? Did I make buttercream? Okay, let me, I wanna do a different color. Let's see, pink and purple. Let's do purple. More purple. I think just a couple more drops of purple and then we'll be good, okay? I need all of the buttercream that I can salvage, so let's wipe these off. Oh my. Oh, is they done? Oh. Oh boy. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, maybe they need to cook for longer. It tastes good though. I'm just gonna destroy this one real quick and then I'll put it back in the oven. Okay. So we had quite a few casualties, a uh, really difficult time getting them off. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just a novice. They didn't follow the directions properly, probably. But, you know, they may be ugly, but I think they're salvageable. So I'm going to let them cool completely here. <gasps> and then I'm going to buttercream them. And I did eat, you know, the ones that I couldn't save and 
This stuff is really fucking sweet. <laughs> oh my god. They have cooled. I can pick them up now. So, well, let's see how well I can pick these up. Okay, okay, these are gonna be super ugly. But, I can fucking work. <laughs> I can work with them, okay? So I'm gonna buttercream them and then I'll just show you the finished product, okay? Okay. I made this ugly thing, okay? And look, at it's pretty. It's pretty ugly. Tastes like a fucking macaroon to me. It's incredibly sweet. My stomach is gonna be very upset from how sweet this is, but um, I made some hideous keto macaroons. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I did have a lot of fun making it. Um, yeah, bye.